Hi everyone, I hope you are doing okay. I thought I would try a voiceover this time because it has been a while since I haven't recorded a voiceover for a video. So I started the month of March with a new painting of Milkweed and the Monarch Butterfly. I really wanted to show the different phases of the butterfly's life. And so I included two butterflies, the caterpillar and also the cocoons. And it's such a fascinating relationship between the insect and the plant because the caterpillar actually feeds on milkweed and in turn the butterfly helps the flower with pollination. So that's interesting. If you live in North America, it can be nice to plant some milkweed in your garden because these beautiful butterflies are having difficulties finding the milkweed. Oh, look at this little rascal! <laughs> so tired watching me work! I really enjoyed painting this butterfly because of the different textures and also the vivid colors. It was so nice to work with those beautiful oranges. So here's the finished piece. I really like it. I think it's a bit different from what I did before. I really enjoyed including this little fairy resting in the milkweed. If you like it, this piece is available in my Etsy shop. Everything is linked down below. So March is always exciting because it is time for our seedlings. So let's go to the seed stash. We have been accumulating seeds for years now. And so every year it is such a pleasure to come to this almost treasure chest of possibilities and to plan out our garden. Someone else is pretty excited. <laughs> So this year in the garden I really want to have more flowers and also of course we have our vegetable patch so we are starting seeds for tomatoes and most of our vegetables and some of the flowers. This year I really want to try and grow cosmos. We tried them last year, but they weren't in the right container and it was a bit sad, really. We didn't have enough space to, to plant them correctly. So this year, I hope we can find them their permanent home so that they can thrive and give us many, many flowers. And I was pretty happy too because this year we tried to sow some of the seeds that we have been collecting from our own garden. And so it will be exciting to see which one grow and which one were not so successful. <laughs> that little face! So we had some sewing dirt or yeah, medium, but it was so dry that we ended up mixing it up with water just to help the seeds along. And it's so nice each year to think about summer at this time because it's very cold still outside. So it's nice to have things growing inside the home. And I can't wait to show you next month how these little guys are growing. And look at that! We planted some bulbs last fall and some of them are coming out. I think those are daffodils. Oh yeah, and we had those seeds for Black Eyed Susans. 
and they said to sow them eight weeks before the last frost date so that's what we did but the seeds were so tiny it felt more like sprinkling salt <laughs> on a dish than sowing seeds i hope they come out And finally, this month I also tried glass painting. It's very different from what I'm used to and I enjoyed the process, but I want to practice a little bit more. I had many bubbles and so I want to try a different way of painting before I share more with you. But it was very fun to try something new and to discover a new medium. And here's the final result. I guess winter was not done yet. <laughs> So anyways, while we wait for all the snow to melt, I'll be preparing April and I hope you are having a wonderful month and that April will bring you many flowers, sunshine and many good things. Don't forget to check out my website and my Etsy shop if you want to bring home some of my work. That's it. Take care.